All right, YouTube. Hope you guys been out there building shit. So I spent about five hours yesterday lifting these walls up. Lifting these walls up. Doing, uh, putting the roof on. And I put uh, some tar paper on there. It still needs shingles. Haven't gotten that far. But overall, this shed kit is pretty cool. It's, it's, it's a good value for the money, I think. If you're trying to save yourself the headache of, of planning and, and cutting and this and that. And this this kit is good for an amateur builder because it the edges overlap and stuff to where uh, it's pretty easy to get a good seal even if you're not completely aligned and, and you don't measure perfect and you're not a great builder that gets everything leveled and the bubble centered and the the edge is perfectly aligned and you know what I mean it's 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 pretty straightforward I I do have a couple complaints I was missing a couple of uh boards in my kit that I just noticed they're they're actually they go you use them for supports to install the door I'm missing those and then they turn into collar ties I'm missing those two boards and my other complaint is that there was plenty of nails I actually have extra nails but there wasn't enough screws and not enough of the screws that the sizes that they specified so they had the wrong numbers and the wrong quantities and the the it, just not enough screws obviously to save themselves a couple bucks but come on give me the right amount of screws give me the right sizes you know so that's just my little check-in on my uh, shed build and how it's going so till next time believe in yourselves believe you can do these things to keep building shit